Hi YouTube, Mako here. I wanted to show you uh, my take on the flattening jig that's adjustable. Um, I've taken it upon myself to change it up a little bit. Works better for me and thought I would share what I use. So, uh, give you a quick overview of that. The key to my flattening jig setup uh, as compared to Nick's setup, uh, I added a few things and I changed a couple of things up. You can see on the board here uh, where I had holes drilled for the screws and bolts to go through based on Nick's design um, of the adjustable flattening jig uh, I didn't I had a hard time getting the both bolts level with the wing nuts and the nut underneath uh, probably me in my old age and uh, you operator error so to speak but I wanted to, my goal was to remove some of that and to create a more flexible setup that was more consistent so what I did was I took the bolts out I uh, I've got I put it up via two by six hardware instead of two by four so uh, you could use two by fours by the way I, I only because I had a two by six that was eight feet long I did this so the flattening board itself is a three feet piece of two by six um, the actual jig itself is five feet long and it's another two by six. Um, basically what I did is instead of using the top board with the adjustable nuts, I drilled two holes into the bottom board, as you can see here, and I've actually used a stack of washers to identify how flat and how tall my jig is. And, in, and for the washers and bolts that I used in specifically, and you can see the wing nut underneath uh, for adjustment and tightening it down, but it's really not even necessary because your weight goes on top. But uh, for my particular setup, uh, seven washers and the top of the bolt head equals three quarters of an inch. Uh, measured, I mean, near exact. So I can throw seven washers on, on each side, drop my bolt down through and know that I've got a three quarter inch spacer. If I want to go to one inch, three washers on top of this, so 10 washers total equals one inch. Um, it makes it easy for me to play with both sides uh, with flattening, uh, taking notes and adjustment. I can say it was seven washers deep, six washers deep, eight washers deep, uh, depending on what I want to do and how I want to use them. Um, and it's consistent. I know if I've got seven washers on both sides, I'm getting getting a consistent flattening, not dependent on me screwing the jig down. Um, some of the other things that I did, you'll see I actually drew some straight lines. I uh, used a, uh, a straight edge. This gave me some points of reference on the jig itself. So when I lay out my pipe, I can tell that it's straight visually. Um, that's a minor change. The other thing I did is I created this trough, uh, just basically screwed on a couple of pieces of uh, plywood. And what that allows me to do, and I'll throw the board up here so you can see. I apologize for the wobble. I'm operating the camera by hand uh, today, unfortunately. But you can see the... Um, 2x6 fits in between here. I can adjust how it sits across the top. Uh, but when you put the pipe in here, uh, what I historically had a problem with is when I'd lay my pipe on without the guide rails, the pipe would want to roll around a little bit and it would come out of straight. If you put the pipe in and you lay this down, what ends up happening is if you put the weight on the front of the pipe by the uh, washers, the back is held straight and the pipe won't roll from side to side. That allows you to grab your clamps, tighten down, and not worry about the board rolling off one, one side or another. Uh, and it works really well. I've been pretty happy with it. Um, anyway, I wanted to just share that a quick video. Um, you know, I appreciate anybody else's thoughts and suggestions. It's a tool. Um, it's not perfect. I, I've obviously changed the design since I started. Um, and uh, appreciate your feedback. Um, thanks.